Hi everyone, it's Stay Thrive back at it with another video. For those of you who are new here, I am a college lifestyle YouTuber who focuses on money, relationship, and emotions. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys of my review of the bidet, and I'm also gonna be doing a demo of the bidet as well. To get started, I'm gonna show you the box that it came in so I can tell you fully what does this product claim to do so we can get an accurate picture of what we can expect from this product. And then typical applications are infant bidet use, handicapped person, business and travel, and it's easy to carry, public toilet, outdoor area, normal bidet use, and female bidet use. This is also a demonstration showing you guys how you can use it. You can go through the front or you can go through the back. So the use of the instructions on the box says, fill the portable bidet with cool or warm water and screw the nozzle cap on securely. Be sure to use caution when using hot water. Prepare to turn the bottle upside down and once inverted, water spray will start immediately. When ready, with bottle in position, release your finger and allow spray to clean intended area. Water will spray out soft and gentle, but pressure can be increased by squeezing the portable bidet bottle tighter. Adjust grip for desired water flow. Practice positioning bottle at different angles, both front and rear, to find best angle for your usage. And after use, you disassemble the bidet in clean and warm soapy water. Here is what the bottle looks like. And one thing that the direction did not tell you is as you can see, it kind of rolls around a lot, which is good for the standpoint of transporting it, but it's bad because when you're putting water in this, it'll make it spray and leak out of this top part right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna extend it and turn it. So instead of turning it left, you wanna turn it right to get it to lock. And then, oh, it has a little bit of water from when I was cleaning it. So you just want to spray it like this. It didn't say on the instructions that you had to lock it in place, which had caused me to spray it out a couple times all over the toilet seat. So that's definitely not fun. I'm also gonna show you the cute little carrying case that came with it. Just a plain little carrying case that you can take around with you. And this is especially good if you already have an in-home bidet and you want it for portable use when you go to public toilets. Or if you're like me and you're in a dorm and you prefer using a bidet to toilet paper because it saves money. In dorm rooms, you can't always change the plumbing. That's why I decided to get a portable one as opposed to one that goes on the toilet. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to first use peanut butter on an apple on one side and I'm gonna wipe it off with toilet paper. And then on the other side, I'm going to use a bidet and then wipe it off, the remaining water off with a towel. Or you can use an old shirt too. That's also another alternative. Look at all that nice, the peanut butter. It's really gross. It's all over the booty hole. Okay, so now I'm gonna get me some tissue. Got me a nice amount of tissue. I'm gonna turn it over. So even after all of that, there is still peanut butter on it. I don't know if you guys can see because the lighting isn't great in here. There's still peanut butter. We're gonna test out the bidet and we're gonna show you the bidet in action. So I'm gonna put the bidet on this side so you guys can compare it. So there's a lot of peanut butter there. We're going to fill it with water. So it's filled with water. As I told you before, you gotta make sure you lock it in place and do that by turning it. And then pull it out and turn it. Make sure that, yep, here we go. So that's about it. Now we're gonna take a cloth and wipe. And as you can see, by itself it wasn't sufficient, but with the cloth to wipe off the excess, it gets it all off, guys. Well, pretty much all of it off versus 
that. It looks like the bidet by itself would not be very effective, but used in combination with a tile will get everything up a lot easier and a lot better than just toilet paper. Also, when I do the wipe test after I do a number two, it looks pretty light, which is usually to me an indicator that it's pretty much gone versus like dark streaks and stuff like that. One tip I have for you guys is to definitely make sure that you use warm water as opposed to cool water. You also don't have to be as extreme as me or somebody else. You can use a combination. You can use toilet paper and a bidet. It's still cut down on the amount of toilet paper that you need because it cleans it much better than it does with just toilet paper. So now that we're back from the demo and I have also used this a total of probably like three times, I'm gonna give you guys the pros and the cons of it. The pros is that you don't need toilet paper. All that you need really is a cloth to wipe off the bottom area or whatever area you're spraying. So it's pretty cost efficient and environmental friendly as well. And also with the pandemic being a thing that causes a lot of instability in resources and instability just in general, we don't know if coronavirus is gonna come back for a second wave and if people act the same way that they did before and they start buying a bunch of tissue, we won't have tissue for everybody. So that's where the bidet really comes in handy because you don't have to really worry about tissue and waiting in line and having to take a shower every time you take a dump. It's also more clean than toilet paper because a lot of times toilet paper doesn't clean up everything. It just kind of takes a little bit off and then smears the rest. It doesn't completely thoroughly clean as it does with water. Also areas such as your vagina, they are sensitive areas. That's why it's way better to just use water in a bidet than it is to use wet wipes or vaginal cleaning wipes because they aren't really supposed to be inside of your vagina. And the last pro is that it's really portable and I like this because as I said before, you can use this in a public area which means you don't have to deal with or worry about tissue going on the floor because I know in public restrooms, that's one of my concerns. Did the toilet paper touch the floor and people just rolled it back up? What really happened to this toilet paper roll? Also for a college lifestyle, this is really good because I can bring it from my dorm to my house to my dorm from my house and that's just really convenient for me. Now I'm gonna get into the cons or the negatives of this product and I would say the portability is also a negative. Sometimes it gets hard to remember to bring this with you and that can be a problem because just like when you run out of toilet paper, what are you gonna do if you don't have your bidet? You're just gonna be like, oh crap, I left it out there. Other than that, there really isn't any cons i feel like bidets are kind of taboo to talk about taboo to talk about but they're really really good alternative to tissue because they're more cost effective and it honestly feels pretty much the same as tissue like it doesn't feel weird to me it feels like a combination of sensations to me it feels like i'm in the shower and it's not an unpleasant feeling it's more of like a refreshed feeling i think i only paid about seven to ten dollars for this i don't i can't remember the exact price but i'll leave it on screen and i also have the exact bidet that i showed you guys in this video in my description so be sure to check that out so i hope you guys liked this video if you guys did be sure to like and also comment below would you ever use a bidet and if not why Thank you guys for watching. Bye.